Hey boys and girls, so today we are going to multiply fractions using an algorithm. So first things first, we're going to review the procedure. So step one says that you should cross simplify if possible. We'll talk a little bit more about cross simplifying later on. Step two says multiply the numerators. Step three, multiply the denominators. And four, simplify fractions again if possible. So for our first example, we're going to just follow steps two through four. Easy enough, okay? So like I said, we're gonna first, step two, we're going to multiply our numerators, okay? So my first numerator is the number two. My second numerator is the number four. Multiply two times four, that's gonna give me a numerator of eight. Now I move on to step three, multiply my denominators. 3 times 8 is 24. Step 4, simplify fractions again if possible. When I look at the fraction 8 24 I know that both 8 and 24 are even. But first, I want to find the greatest common factor, which I'm going to do up here. <clears throat> so my factors of 8 are 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. My factors of 24, it's a much longer list. 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8. I'm going to stop because I see that the largest number they have in common is 8 right now. Okay, we just found the greatest common factor. Now we're going to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. 8 divided by 8 is 1, and 24 divided by 8 is 3. I know this is in simplest form because this is a unit fraction, okay? Now we're going to move on to example number two. But this time, we are going to use cross-simplifying. Cross-simplifying is simplifying numbers that are across from each other, all right? So what I want to do right now is I want to highlight here, okay? I want to highlight the seven and this five. Those numbers cannot be simplified. They're both prime numbers and the only factors they have are one and itself. But then I'm going to take a look at the eight and the four. Okay, notice again that those numbers are across from each other. And I can simplify them. I can divide both eight and four by four. So now what's going to happen is 4 divided by 4 is going to leave me with 1. So now my new numerator is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So this denominator is now a 2. What we've done is we've simplified before. So simplifying afterwards would be a little bit easier. Now I follow the step 2. Multiply my numerators. 7 and my new numerator of 1 makes my numerator 1, and then I have 2 times 5 is 10. This cannot be simplified because 7 is a prime number, okay? Now, had we not simplified this fraction, let's talk about what could have happened. If I left it as 7 to 4 and 4, I would have gotten 28 over 40 which is pretty large. And then you would have had to list all your factors and simplify. Many of you have been mentioning to me that you have difficulty simplifying larger numbers. So this is the right answer, but 7 tenths is the best and final simplified 